This is me. Ruth Bossibori has earned tens of thousands of dollars from winning 3,000 meter steeplechase events all over the world over her 15 year running career. She says she gave the money to her husband to invest in properties. She says he became violent, then left her and took everything. For him, he had ill motives. He only he was after my, uh, my sweat. So it breaks my heart because when I see the situation I'm in at the moment, I sometimes lack uh, what to say. Ruth says she's not alone. She lives in the town of Iten in Kenya, where many of the world's fastest long distance runners come from. She says many of the female athletes here lose their winnings to abusive partners. <laughs> Few ever spoke out about it until world record breaking professional athlete Agnes Terop was stabbed to death at her home three months ago. Police charged her husband with murder. It prompted outcry against domestic abuse in Kenya and beyond. Joanne Chalimo, who's won half marathons all over the world, says she left an abusive husband after he took most of her winnings. She's been speaking out and says dozens of other abused female athletes have since contacted her. She set up a charity to help them. Like Agnes Tirop, she, she could not tell anyone her problems. So most of them are, are st suffering in silence. So our main objective is to try to educate them and for them just to know their rights, what's, what they are capable of doing. Many of the runners begin when they're teenagers and can be vulnerable in the cutthroat business of professional sports. Most people here aren't wealthy. Many live in shacks. Small-scale farming is one of the only ways that people can make a living. And a lot of the athletes say when they start out running, they can't even afford their own trainers. And that winning the prizes from international running competitions is one of the only ways to make a decent living. On the edge of a ten is a growing suburb of the homes of the few athletes here that make it. The winnings can be big. That's what Joanne says attracts predatory men to winning women. Caroline and Jirogi won around $10,000 running long-distance races in China just before the global pandemic. She says her ex-partner violently took all the money she ever won until she ran away. We met her with two of her friends who told similar stories. All we're appealing for is an office to represent us, somewhere we could go to report this. There are even prominent athletes among us who are not able to speak and have nowhere to go. Caroline and her friends hope to win more prizes so they can replace what they say they lost to abusive partners. They say many of those around them keep suffering in silence. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Iten, Kenya.